What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Hope y'all are well. Hope y'all are having a fabulous week. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to knock out the readings for Monday. So I can make sure I have those already uploaded. It's raining outside, so if you hear the noise in the background, that's the rain. Baby snow is sleep at this time, thankfully. But let's see what's coming in for you for the week ahead. Let's see. What's the energy for my Scorpios for the upcoming week? Energy for my Scorpios for the upcoming week, please, Spirit. What's the energy for my Scorpios for the upcoming week? Energy for Scorpios for the upcoming week, please, Spirit. What's going on with my Scorpios for the upcoming week? We have community and fish chakra. Some of y'all, I just got, like, some of y'all could be going to, like, a, something about, like, a speech or a... What is that word that I'm looking for? Door to spirit. This could be like, you know how like a, a congregation, that's like church, but it's like, you know how you go somewhere and somebody's like speaking and you're gaining knowledge from that. That's kind of what you, some of y'all could be doing that this week with the community and the fish chakra. Some of y'all could be this person speaking up, speaking out to other people. Why can I not think of the word? Like I'm just blank right now. I keep hearing congregation, but that's not the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Ooh. You, okay, now if y'all do something online, or like y'all post something online or something like that, y'all got a, a community of people that don't like what you're saying. Because you got the envy, magician, in the mirror, and the world card. So y'all could be manifesting something this week, or like speaking something into manifestation. I mean, this could be simply you saying something online or something like that. And somebody don't like that you're doing this. Like, they feel some type of way. <clears throat> this could even be you, like, because community can represent, like, friends, family, stuff like that. But with that fifth chakra there, that's using your voice, your, your throat chakra. <clears throat> but with this envy card, the magician in the mirror and the world, it's like somebody don't like what you're saying or how you're saying something or what you're speaking about. Hmm. That's great. Let's see. Number 7 and 39 could be significant this week. Or 12. So about July 12th could be significant as well. Let's see. 7. Connection with kindred spirits. Uh, the lights in the picture represent your ever-present spirit community as well. Some of y'all are getting like downloads from your ancestors and you could be speaking up about that. Be careful because there's people watching you trying to manifest and if you're speaking too much about your downloads, you know, somebody may try to like hinder it. So if you get like special downloads and stuff like that, journal them. Try not to tell everybody. Um... This could be a casual connection of like-minded people joining a club or committee of some sort or even a business partnership consisting of three or more entities. Some of y'all could be working together with people or there's like a community of people that want to work with you, whether it's personal or professional. Some of y'all could be going to like a party or celebration, like y'all could be speaking. And this, I mean, this could be simple, like going to a get together and like y'all are talking and stuff like that. You're just kind of like getting to know people, getting to see them and stuff like that. But with this envy card, I just, I, but somebody don't like that you're doing this. I don't, I don't get that. Why they feel like that? Self-expression and speaking your truth. Yeah. It's something about you just speaking your truth. You expressing yourself and it's like you got people with the stank eye like you know like mm, Scorpio saying this or Scorpio say I don't know but hateful people some of y'all could be doing it online though with the world card that could be online or this is like you traveling 32 the door to spirit that's but you protect it so I don't know what they the hostilities the seat this could be people that have they don't really have good intentions for you anyway. Some of y'all could be speaking about 
somebody like taking from you, stealing from you, or causing some sort of hostility, drama, or something like that. I mean, I could be speaking up or speaking your truth about that, and somebody is not too happy. But whatever. Um, let's see what this is about. Let's see if we can get some more information. What's this energy about for Scorpio? This upcoming week. Can you clarify this energy for Scorpio this upcoming week? Two cards, please. What's going on with Scorpio? Honeymoon. Honeymoon phase attending someone's wedding. Some of y'all are going to like a wedding. <laughs> or like a, a party or something like that. Like a get together. Some of y'all could be traveling. That could be what the world card is about. Y'all could be traveling. Maybe you're speaking up at this, this function or something like that. You could be like the, the, the bridesman or the groomsman or something, something bridesmaid or groomsman. Or, I don't know, child, because I didn't have no big wedding like that. We went to the courthouse. Never do that shit again. Anyway, <laughs> spy. Someone's got their eye on you. You're doing your research. See, it's like somebody's watching you. My nose is itching. Somebody just, I feel like somebody's just being nosy. Some of y'all could be speaking about a relationship or <clears throat> maybe you're saying something about traveling or something like that. Be careful of telling too many people about you traveling. What else is going on? Where'd that card go? Someone else. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. For some of y'all, there could be something to do with a third party. Pregnancy, someone is expecting. Like this, why am I getting like somebody trying to interfere your new start or somebody could be speaking up about a pregnancy or about the start of something, the beginning of something. For some of y'all, this could be a baby mother. You could be a baby mother. It has to do with a, a woman energy. Y'all could share the same, y'all could be in the same community of people. Cycles, fate, karma, something, ending, something, beginning. You could be... Some sort of karma could be playing out. Or you could be ending something. Yeah, be careful of someone sneaking. You could be ending something with a liar. Maybe you're speaking your truth and it's exposing somebody as a liar or what somebody did in a cycle. But there's something to do with the third party. Like somebody's trying to either sabotage you in public or something. What's the honeymoon energy about? Clarify the honeymoon. What is that about for Scorpio? Yeah, I wish I got going on this week. Queen of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. So this could be like a workplace connection, or you could be really focused on your money, your finances, your stability. But we got the Queen of Pentacles, in, I mean, the Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Ten of Cups in reverse. This You could be speaking about an unhappy family dynamic. This could even be you, like, speaking up, saying, like, you know, um, I was gullible, you know, da 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 I believe this, but some of y'all speaking about an unhealthy family dynamic, okay, or you're speaking out about it. You could even be saying, like, um, maybe, like, you were working with certain people and you kind of sac sacrificed yourself too much for this person so that they can move forward towards a relationship or two of pentacles you could be speaking about balancing things out or juggling the five of pentacles how you're juggling some sort of hardship or how you went through some sort of hardship or homelessness or poverty and that's why something's like unhappy or why something's a broken home or could have something to do with money. What's the uh, honeymoon card? What's the honeymoon card for Scorpio? What's that honeymoon card about? Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I'm sorry, Knight of Cups. Why do I keep saying Pentacles? Knight of Cups in reverse. So unrequited love? And lies. This is like somebody lying about a love offer. Somebody not having good boundaries or something like that. Like, you could be speaking up about this, but 
You could be working with another person in regards to this. Queen of Wands in reverse. Somebody could be, you know, very disorganized. This could have been somebody that tried to, like, put their beliefs on somebody else. And it could have caused you to have to sacrifice yourself more for a situation or for a family dynamic or like this could even be like a third party right this could be a third party maybe they intruded in your relationship or something that you were supposed to be moving forward or selling forward in and it caused some sort of unhappy family life for you or dysfunctional family for you what's this about why is the Queen of Cups in reverse? What's the Queen of Cups in reverse? Rejected. You could be rejecting something or someone because you're like, I'm not gonna, I'm not sacrificing myself no more. I'm not doing this. For you to be happy, you know, love or hate. There could be like a love hate dynamic there. Like somebody may want you to keep being gullible or keep unnecessarily sacrificing yourself so that they can move forward with someone or something and it's like i'm not doing it give me one more on the queen of cups in reverse with this rejected card so you're rejecting this like maybe you speaking up and speaking out is getting you out of this queen of cups in reverse energy you're not nurturing something anymore what's the queen of cups in reverse jezebel Bottom of the deck, bad news. Yeah, it's like somebody wanted you to be like, treat you like a Jezebel energy or put this Jezebel energy on you. And maybe you speaking your truth is making somebody realize like, oh, wait, that's not a Jezebel or or you could be speaking up about a Jezebel because the Queen of Wands in reverse, that is a Jezebel energy. You could be speaking up about this person. And that's why you're rejecting them because just like nah you like you cause this unhappy home dynamic or you cause this dysfunction or you created some sort of lack of security because of what you wanted because of being getting in between me and me and another person uh let's see what's the ten of cups in reverse because some of y'all this was like a marriage a home a family some sort of security what's ten of cups in reverse Spiritual chaos, ego, debt, damage, spiral, spiritual awakening, bad credit, debt, unemployed. Yeah, like somebody could have caused like you to go into debt or somebody's going into debt or somebody lost a job. Somebody could have caused financial ruin for you or somebody's causing financial ruin for you and somebody's... What's the Ten of Cups in reverse? Under pressure. Anxiety, decisions, time's running out. Yeah, somebody is feeling ashamed, guilt, embarrassed, and wrong, and trapped. Because they could have tried to, like, trap you in this energy. Or somebody wanted to keep you trapped in this broken family dynamic or lack of security. They wanted to keep you stressed out or... under pressure or something like that side hustle and self-love some of y'all created like a some of y'all are going to create like a side hustle or something or you've created this uh, side hustle for yourself because you love yourself but this could be where you're putting your energy bad credit debt and unemployed love and hate for some of y'all something like you could have started you could have started like some sort of side hustle out of loving yourself or doing what you're doing but somebody could have like tried to cause some sort of interruption why am i getting like somebody causing an interruption with your money your plans your stability in some sort of way like like fucking with you and somebody knows that fake busy Somebody could have been acting like they were super busy or they weren't. 
this could even been like say you were dating somebody you're trying to figure out why your your uh home life or your security or stability is being compromised it's because your partner may not be working when they say they working what's the knight of cups in reverse what's the knight of cups in reverse for scorpio off and on hot and cold detached and ghosted yeah you you realize that you like boundaries because you allow somebody to keep ghosting you you have no strings or you're not dealing with this because you don't want to deal with somebody that keeps ghosting you or that keeps being detached oh my god bad great who is this why does energy self-love y'all got a person i don't know who is having financial problems or who's like running up their credit or and lost the job or something but <coughs> there's an the energy that's running around it, either they keep ghosting you or you realize you had uh, a lack of boundaries or something like that or somebody and that's how somebody, like some I feel like somebody is broke and they just like running around with somebody for stability purposes what the heck what the heck is going on something coming something is coming out about a Jezebel energy you could be rejecting somebody because somebody's a hoe, first of all. And they thought that you was going to keep being gullible and keep putting up with they, with they bullshite. This could have been somebody that you was in a marriage with for some of you. Others of you, this could have been somebody that you thought you was going to build a family dynamic with. And now this person could be going through an ego death. Yeah, because this person's a liar. Somebody been lying. Hustling. Now, others of you, love triangle third party multiple choices lovers and choices giving money somebody has been giving money to another person and somebody has been lying about it somebody has also been lying about sleeping with somebody for money what's the ten of cups in reverse now somebody's going through an ego death what's the ten of cups in reverse about bad karma now this is somebody's bad karma it's to be under pressure it's to go through this ego death groupie because they were trying to either like block you, make you out to be like a groupie, child services. Somebody could be having like uh, DHS, what is DCS, children services and stuff like that involved. Somebody knows that time is running out, that it's time to get their karma because of this dysfunctional family or this um, broken home, this lack of security and stability. Somebody knows that they're about to get karma. And part of that karma could be catching a case. Look, caught a case, sexual infection, sexual disease, rashing, etc. It's like they're trying to ignore it. For some of y'all, y'all may find out somebody got an STD or something. Or they just catching a case, like with a kid. What's the Knight of Cups in reverse? Somebody's finances are fucked up. I'm just going to say that. What's the Knight of Cups in reverse? Travel. This person can live at a distance from you. Or they can want to travel towards you. Okay, or they could be avoiding you. You could be avoiding them. Dodging bullets, blocking negativity, escaping, escaping crazy people, protected by haters. For some of y'all, this person lives at a distance from you, and they got like a whole gang of haters or people that don't like you around, whoever this is in this community, Because and it has a lot to do with you speaking your truth. Broke ass. This person is broke. This person is broke. Whoever this is. This person ain't got no money. They're going through some sort of poverty, some sort of financial issue boss daddy but they show up like they a boss like they got it all together but this person's broke whoever this is I don't know why I lie about a just why lie? I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know what about the someone else so Somebody could definitely be lying about a third party. Look, King of Wands in reverse. This is a, a upside down couple. Some of y'all dealing with a, a, a manipulative, lie, lying, self-absorbed type of energy. It's King of Wands and Queen of Wands in reverse. These people don't have any 
values for the they don't they don't know how to self love or nothing like that. They just they're promiscuous. They're hoes. They lie. They're disorganized. They don't have their ish together. These are whoever this is. Some y'all. Oh my God, the King and Queen of Wands in reverse. Who are these people? Yeah, the Sun. And you could be illuminating this. Or this is what's coming out. This is someone else. The Scorpio. Jeez. Maybe you're speaking up about it. What's someone else about for Scorpio? They're about someone else for Scorpio. Two of Swords coming out. So yeah, difficult decision here. Being at the crossroads. Not seeing things. This could even be you facing your fears here. Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Somebody could be stressed. There could be fear. There could be anxiety here about this. What's the someone else card? Scorpio. What's with someone else? Knight of Pentacles. So pushing through, persevering, being patient. Yeah, the tower, because the tower is coming. There's the Empress with the King of Pentacles. The tower is about to come. Whatever this is, what's this someone else for Scorpio? Here's how someone else for Scorpio. The death card. Something's about to come to an end. Something's about to transform. It has something to do with um, unpaid bills. <coughs> some sort of selfishness. Some sort of debt. My goodness. There's, there's somebody's interfering here. Somebody trying to sabotage this for you. Trying to stop this from transforming. What's two of swords? Included separation, reflecting, soul searching, karmic lesson. So you've already learned a lesson. You could be separating yourself from these people, or separating yourself from whoever this is, because you know they torn, or you feel like you're at a crossroads. You don't have a choice but to separate yourself. Tell me more about this two of swords. Did you notice somebody else? Yeah, phony trickster, illusions, fairy tale. Because somebody is a trickster, love spell. You could be saying goodbye to this person because you know they're a trickster. Whoever this is, they phony. That's why things could be at a stalemate or why you're not going any further. Somebody can't see something. Somebody's like blindfolded, like they stuck. They can't see something. But you know, like the more you seclude yourself, the more you see that this person's an illusionist. Or they're a phony. What's Knight of Pentacles? So you're moving forward, you're persevering. What's Knight of Pentacles? Left you hanging. You could be leaving somebody hanging as you're moving forward. No closure, no contact left on red. Spiritual gift. Because you already know. Spiritually, you already know. You tapped in. You know something ain't right. You know that there's somebody else involved that's causing this person to cast these illusions. What's Knight of Pentacles? Legal matters could have to do with legalities and shocking news. Yeah, something could be coming out about a divorce, criminal paternity, child support, traffic ticket. You know that in due time, that something's going to come out. Goodbye. All because it's sad. I just heard I am the table. So it's like you're removing yourself from something and you're moving forward. It's taking some time. This Whatever this is, Knight of Pentacles, it's taking a while. But you're healing. Coming out of this dark night of the soul, or somebody is. What's the death card? Full upside down, no strings in reverse with the death card. So something's transforming. What's the death card? Pop the question. Somebody wants to propose to somebody, or somebody wants to propose something. Family at the bottom of the deck. Somebody could have been battling with the sex addiction. Yeah, jackass. But somebody, this could be somebody in your family, or this could be somebody you have kids with, or somebody that you consider family. Somebody wants something serious, okay? And you could be into something because you want something serious as well. What's the two of swords for Scorpio? But there's a third party that's in the way. Yeah. Extra triggered. Fake smiles. Wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah, you you're not really moving. You're leaving something at a stalemate. Jackpot. Because you know that somebody can't be trusted. Somebody's fake. 
or somebody is stuck at the stalemate energy or something is stuck at a stalemate. Somebody can't see something that, I don't know if this is you pulling back or what, but you're speaking up about it. So this could be somebody else. Somebody's triggered because you're speaking up. And this is because somebody's blindfolded here. They don't see that somebody's a, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Somebody could be doing something for some sort of money or inheritance. What's the Knight of Pentacles? What's the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio? Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Tripping on you and running. Somebody keep running. Car, there's no car repo car issues. Yeah, somebody keep running from some sort of legality or something. Groupie. Running towards that groupie energy. R running towards people that, that's going to support their fuckery. Head in the clouds. Yeah. Somebody keeps thinking that they could keep running from this karma or running from whatever this is. What's the death card? Hey, bro. What's the death card? Hey. Did you sleep good? Give me one second. Okay, so, yeah, somebody tripping out on you. So they trying to run away from this news coming out or from this being exposed. Whatever this is. What's the death card? No strings in reverse to pop the question. Ghosted. Disappearing, ghosted, in and out, love triangle. Giving money. This could be about a third party situation. Somebody could be ghosting this here that... Or ghosting something, or what's the death card? Or this is about to end where somebody could keep running in and out, photo proof, getting evidence, and reflecting. Yeah, this is about to end. Somebody may try to come in and like propose something to you for a turtle, but they know you're holding a grudge against them. Somebody's reflecting back because they're they're seeing something, some sort of evidence on why somebody didn't want to come towards you because something's ending. Something where somebody been ghosting you in and out, inconsistent. That's coming to an end. That's not going to fly no more. Like, it's, it's kind of like either you're going to come in with a commitment or and, and offer me something or just don't come in at all. Somebody realizes that I can't do what I was doing in the past, okay? Something like that. What's going on? How does Scorpio know who this is going forward for the week? How does Scorpio know who this is coming towards them for the week? How is Scorpio? I don't know who this is coming towards Scorpio for the week. Um, car payment. Somebody, a car payment could be significant. Money coming in. Windshield wipers. It could be raining. 20s and 30s. DHL or UPS, DHL, a DHL or FedEx, UPS, USPS. Polka dot striped or printed top shirt. Brown or dark liquor. Black or orange hair. Grandma or granddad. Alexis, Bentley or BMW white woman or man a uh, white man or woman sporty electric car or truck laundry is overflowing uh their magic is backfiring karma playing out computer tablet or ipad or laptop chinese man or woman factory worker line assembly they are mad that they made a deal with the devil mm. attacked you out of jealousy and bitterness wow um, hair salon or barbershop. Karma is tearing their butts up. Hoochie daddy shorts. Somebody a motorcycle could be significant. Lazy day. Phone off and not answering the door. Lazy eye or eye patch. Dreads or braids could be significant. So yeah. Somebody wants to transform. Something that has ended. Somebody wants to like come in and like pop the question or offer you something, but you can be holding a grudge against this person, child. Because they've already, it's like you've already shown me who you are in the past. You got a lot going on this week, Scorpio, but it looks like somebody is getting karma for and going through some sort of ego death because of some sort of unhappy or dysfunctional family dynamic. Some of y'all are rejecting somebody because they thought that they could keep being a Jezebel in your energy, keep lying about being a hoe. You're not dealing with them. Um, somebody that's been very off and on, ghosting you, inconsistent with bad credit, they or they lost their job, or they're having money problems, that's at a distance. You're not, you realize it's unrequited. You don't want to deal with it. The two of swords, what you don't see is 
the more you seclude yourself from a person or a situation, you're going to see how much of a trickster they are. This may trigger you, okay? Because they they in your, in your face smiling like they cool with you and they really not. Others of you, you're continuing to push through and persevere, although something's taking time. Um, but you're moving towards something with um, somebody that either didn't give you closure or didn't that you're not in contact with. You're continuing to push forward. And some of y'all could be dealing with a legal case. Some could be coming out about that. Somebody could be tripping out on you because they're trying to run from it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Just place it how it fits. And I'll go into more details here with the next reading. But um, this is what I have for you. Hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.